Dirt Showdown is an arcade update of the largely successful Dirt Series Rally game. And it's coming to PS3, Xbox 360 and PC on May the 25th. Dirt Showdown will deliver a new world of competitive and competitive racing as players race, crash and hoon their way to the Showdown Finals on a chaotic tour of motorised mayhem. So I met up with Christian Stevenson, the man behind the soundtrack and also the voice of Dirt Showdown, to find out exactly what makes it stand out from other racing games. Um, there's been a gap in the market, I think, for fun party, you know, smash em up games, you know, fossil fuel burning awesomeness, you know, eight, eight vehiculars, you know, battling it out, uh, the hooning thing, the Gymkhana, all that stuff. It's all in there. Dirt, Dirt 2, Dirt 3, amazing games, more rally, more battling. Now it's full fossil fuel burning carnage and it's, it's more fun. Yes. This is the game I've been waiting to make, bro. Yeah. I've been waiting to make this game for so long. I love making Dirt 2 and 3, but nah, rallying, it's okay. I, I, I get a bit bored point to point rallying. It's cool. I want, I want to be out there with like you and, and you and you, you know, everybody out there just like smashing and, you know, taking each other out and having a laugh, you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly, I get, I get it totally. And more importantly, you've had an involvement in the game that's quite interesting. Firstly, the voice. Yeah, obviously, you know, you had your voice in there. Um, you're all over the game and you, you like bring an element the game that just makes it, I feel like it's more kicker when you're talking, you know, when I, when I get Wicked. stuck in, you know, I feel like, yes, mm, perpendicular awesomeness, yeah. probably my favourite theme. Thank um, you very much, warm metal blanket of destruction. Is that your favourite? Well, it's just one of them, I still, the stupidest one is, you could cut the intensity with a spoon. <laughs> just <laughs> stupid things like that. When you were um, doing the voiceover for the game, um, Firstly, did it take quite a while? Because there's a load of phrases. Yeah, yeah. We had a script. They gave me a script about 2,500 lines, and they go, "Can you add what you would say to each of these scenarios? You know, you know, for a T-bone, I wrote perpendicular awesome. It's in a couple other ways of saying T-boning. Um, so I added another, I think, about 800 to 1,000 lines. 250 of those got taken out because I, I do push it. You know, I, I try to see how far I can go. What did it make it through? Oh gosh, this is, oh man. Oh. One of them, I can remember one I think you mentioned when we were at the race day was um, when you're cutting wood. Um, if you were to accidentally cut, uh, instead of wood, cut something on your body uh, with an axe. Uh, oh, an axe wound. Would be a... <laughs> well, yeah, that was one of the nicknames I put in there, axe wound. And I put that in there to get yeah. home record through. Yeah. And they both got nicks. I'm like, you're not, you're not giving me home record, but you're going to give me tea bag. Yeah. Um, right, so also, also as well as being um, the voice of the game, which like I said, like you add a whole new element of kick card. Thank you. Playing the game. Because I hope I don't annoy anybody, because I'm sure some people get annoyed with the American guy screaming at you, especially in Dirt 3 where I kept saying that clip was so rad, you should put it up on YouTube. Do not put that clip on YouTube, because that was a crap line you took, and it wasn't worthy of it, so don't listen to me in Dirt 3. We've got the option. I mean, I'm not going to lie, if I heard that, I probably would upload it straight to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. That's more of a commandment. But it wouldn't really be the same sort of game if it was someone like, oh, that was a jolly good... Oh, that was, that was marvelous. great. Bloody marvellous. Look at that. They, they crashed. Oh, my God. This is Yeah. Nah, nah. It's not right, man. I think um, it's definitely the right the way that you come through with it. Thanks. Um, as well as that, you're also uh, involved very heavily with the soundtrack. Yeah. You know? It's, it's your soundtrack. You selected that for the game. Well, I mean, I was a music supervisor, so I, I I threw a lot of music at them, and then. But you've also got the people that work there. They've all got their their tunes, so it is a team effort. But I was the main music supervisor. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, we were at the promo day for that. Yeah. Last week. You did really well, um, Marcus. Yeah. I mean, well, it was an emotional day. I must say, emotions were high and emotions were low. What, what, what was um, it low when you destroyed your vehicular? I think when I found out that I was driving of all the vehicles, the, the yellow van, the school bus, um, I was a little bit sad, but I didn't realize the potential yeah. in me in terms of driving and what I could do with that. You not only destroyed other people, but you destroyed it. I took some photos of, of your vehicular after you got done using it. And then I took some photos of Underneath it, it was like just drenching. You actually opened up the radiator, didn't you? I, what I did was, I did what most people couldn't do, is I got 150% out of that vehicle. Yeah, you did. I mean, I think the only, I don't, I don't know, possibly, I don't know if you'd mind doing this, because you did it on the day, and maybe this is the only thing we didn't get, is we didn't get any commentary for our actual race when we, when we were going around the track that we could hear. Would you mind commentating the last lap of my race? Would you do that for me? Marcus Ronzi, it, it, it'd be my pleasure, dude. I'm gonna cry right now, dude. There's a tear trickling down the side of my cheek. Marcus Bronzy in the mobile of death. 
Death. Death. This mobile comes with reverb, dude. Look at this. So now you didn't have as much horsepower underneath it, but Marcus Bronte, he's coming up on the flip mobile, and that thing is fast. Probably the fastest vehicle out there, and he's coming up on him. And and then the other guy's pulling away. But he's still working that, that gear shift. Are you in second right now or third? And he's pulling in. And they give him a little nudge. And I think he's lost most of his fluids. And it's steaming up. It's all gone horribly wrong. But you know what? You got to the end. You got to live to tell the tale. Marcus Bronzi, you are a man amongst little, little like pygmy giants. Because you're a giant man. Thank you very much. Dude, you're lucky you can breathe right now, dude. You should get out of this thing, dude. He's going to die. Get out. I'm so worried about you. So if you fancy getting your hands on some no-holds-barred racing, some bone-crunching demolition derby, and some edge-of-control hoonigan events, go grab yourself a copy of Dirt Showdown, available on PS3, Xbox, and PC at the end of May.